today we will have the sales cycle or to see order to cash okay uh we will create the we will quickly create the like sale item and okay. then a, a, a one customer and we will proceed with the sales order mm -hmm. uh then the sales invoice and the payment etc okay yeah so we will go to list accounting Hmm. It comes new. So we will create a service for sale. Mm -hmm. Let us create one unit also, unit of measure. So this conversion rate base means uh, like uh, like this particular if we want to have the uh, for example like I'm creating a units of measure and uh, like kilogram okay but mm -hmm. uh, it can be converted with the grams also okay okay so we will enter the conversion rate or uh, what what is the base unit here mm -hmm. and then uh, and in the below line we will enter the another uh, another uh, like unit uh, unit type on in okay. which we will convert this oh, main convert. unit type into yeah okay okay mm -hmm. so, but we will not like tagging any conversion rate here, so we will keep it as one. Okay. Yeah. All right. It will be taken at the spend in the pixels for this. So we have this mm -hmm. okay, number. Oh, okay, we can tag the like the, different prices for the different currencies also. Different currency, okay. Okay, we want to uh, 
like tag it at the item level only okay so like for U us solar it will be something uh, i'm okay or we have the, this canadian currency so let me take mm -hmm. um, house okay yeah okay So we don't, what is the quantity on the top? Do we have to change that or? Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's basically the uh, table only, okay. Uh, okay. So, so see, the quantity means the uh, see, this table is for the uh, calculating the discounts. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so let's say uh, how, at which level we, we want to calculate the discounts by line quantity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, whatever the quantity mentioned in the transaction line, it, okay. will, calculate, it will calculate discounts on that. Okay. Another option is by overall item quantity. By overall so, payment quantity or by overall schedule quantity. So there are different mm -hmm. uh, mm, like parameters of the discount. Okay. okay. So basically this is uh, to calculate the discounts. So okay. we, will, we will remove that. Quantity pricing schedule, pricing group, okay. In accounting, again, we will map the income mm -hmm. account. Okay, income. Yes. Oh, let's, we are taking the sales. Okay. Not taxable. So, uh, in the sales transaction, there is no option in generating accruals. Okay, like yesterday we see in the purchase inventory, uh, sorry, uh, like in the, while creating the purchase item, yeah, we haven't, we haven't set box here, so we can uh, generate the accruals at the item right. receipt level. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, but yeah. at sales order level, there is no such uh, option there in the next slide. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. So the can be fulfilled and receive is only for purchase we use it, right? Yeah, for it, it, it can be fulfilled. Okay, you mm -hmm. can you can create a transaction which is item fulfillment. But oh, okay. There is, there is not going to be any jail impact. Any oh, okay. any posting in the books, yeah. Any posting oh, yeah. in the books. It's not uh, something which we receive, right? It's it's a service. Right. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, we will create a customer now list relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, customers new. Mm -hmm. Ship rocket in mm -hmm. subsidiary. So again, there are some fields which we can full uh, like enter or we can also leave blank also. Okay. So okay. So basically, so is that, uh, the status the customer closed. The, yeah. The, so, 
so they are different uh, status okay uh, mm -hmm. so the when we create a new customer the default status is customer close one okay mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. that customer is our like uh, let's say we are creating a customer so obviously we have uh, oh, we, we have, have one. Uh, Uh, yeah, we we are taking this. Uh, we are basically uh, giving our services to the customer. Okay, but right, but right, this right. yeah, this status uh, basically comes from the CRM cycle. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. from the lead, maybe lead. Yeah, process, yes, right? yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Let's say I I create a lead. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, um, until my lead is con converted into a prospect, then prospect is converted into a customer. Then only this status will change. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. If if okay. I if I like if in the at the lead level, uh, mm -hmm. I I create a I create a new prospect. Okay, yeah. and uh, I I I change the customer. Uh, sorry, status to so the lost customer. So mm -hmm. there won't be any customer. Okay, it's just the lead is lost. Right. 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 Default receivable account, account receivable. If we have the tax information of the customer, we can tag here. Like tax mm -hmm. registration number, mm -hmm. address we can enter. But we have to add the currency in which we, the customer can make the payment, or so uh, we can like take the different currencies. Mm -hmm. uh, let Let's say we are raising the uh, customer to the uh, in invoice in the USC. Mm -hmm. Okay, but okay, okay, and. Either customer pays in the US dollar or in the mm -hmm. uh, Canadian dollar or in any other currency. In okay. our system, we will receive as CAD only. Oh, okay. I see. It, it, it will it will get converted. It will get converted. Okay. Okay. Transaction sales and enter sales order. I'm changing the currency and I will create a sales order in USD. Okay. 
So sales order is created once the customer like asks for the service, right? Like they they approach you uh, or they have placed an order or or they have after that you initiate this process. Yes, yes. Okay. Sales order not just service, we can pay for the like goods also. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, like it, it, it is same in the P two P cycle, procure to P cycle. Okay, like mm -hmm. there we, where there we give a purchase order to our vendor. Okay. Right. Right. So there we give a sales order to our customer. That is a sales order. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or if there is like we are not giving the sales order, it can be any. Uh, agreement any contract with the um, customer mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. uh, on which services will be given but that agreement is like outside the netfit and we just can have that agreement in somewhere in the uh, file cabinet we can approve oh, okay. that okay okay mm -hmm. so sale item zero one Okay, so we will we have created this sales order. Yeah. Now we'll open up customer and we'll show something. Okay. Hmm? Now you can see system has automatically taken action. Right? Oh right. Okay. Exchange okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is my customer. I go down to these. Uh, financial information. Mm -hmm. okay. So, as you can see, my. Oh, okay. The, the currency conversion, right? Right, right. Um, so let, let me show you. So in CAD, it is 1.1.1. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If you check with the actual exchange rate, come around near that. Okay. Okay. That's Yeah. So you can see here also hundred mm -hmm. is in one three zero seven five one. So that's in Canadian dollars, yeah. Yes, yes, correct. Yeah. Okay, now we will build this sales order. But before mm -hmm. we build, like we can create a a deposit also. Uh, okay. So deposit is a basically transaction between 
used to accept the advance from the customer. Okay. Okay. So we will go to the create deposit. Mm -hmm. Customer deposit is so let's say we are so we are taking the fifty percent of mass amount. Okay. Okay. Uh, Save actions. So it will go to the end deposit. Okay. So customer deposit is basically the uh, GL automatically GL created by the end right? So all the advance will go under the GL. Okay. So under customer deposit. Yeah. And the reason why it is shown on the um, undeposited funds instead of bank because uh, really we... breaking off in between, I'm not able to hear you properly. Okay, okay. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Now now it's better. Yeah. I think yeah. now it's okay. So, so we uh, accepted fifty percent of the payment from the customer. Yes. So okay. Yeah. So uh, as of now, it is not uh, shown into the like bank account. It mm -hmm. has gone to the undeposited funds. Oh okay. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. But usually, it's not a case. Let me check the customer phone. Screen fields. Count is So, uh, and under this tab, okay, this option where you can have your own recent record. Mm -hmm. Okay, like yeah. you are work, you are working on some transaction or record, and you uh, like close it. If you mm -hmm. want to quickly open that, you can just go there and okay. open that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once you log out, it will go. It will not show okay. there. Okay. So, mm -hmm. So uh, as you can see, we this is deposited into 
fund deposit funds we can select the account also yeah so we will select our uh, this account mm -hmm. and then we will save mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so now we will check the jail impact so jail impact is coming as 653.55 canadian dollar okay okay yeah okay so in mm -hmm. in in our bank we have received this have payment received. by by yeah, converting the currency okay 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 so, uh, so basically exchange rate is auto generated or we can enter our own exchange rate also Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, customer deposits is another uh, GL account, right? Customer deposits. Yes, it's another GL account. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, moving next, we will uh, create a bill from the sales order. Okay. Okay. Basically, the sales invoice. That's invoice. Yes, invoice. So all the fields are already there. We can invoice number is auto generated. We can't. Okay. Uh, so there are some settings which is showing that we can't add the invoice number of our own. Okay. Mm -hmm. It has to be okay. auto generated only. Okay. So automatically it is showing amount due as 500. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, now let's... The GL impact will be the... Our account visible to the, our income account. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And... Uh, again, if... Like like the P2P cycle, if, if I want to enter the... Uh, like... Yesterday we have entered a vendor credit note. Here we can mm -hmm. also enter yeah. a credit note as well. Okay. okay. Uh, now we will uh, accept the further payment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this time we will not uh, going to select the bank account. We will have mm -hmm. the undeposited funds only. So what does it mean undeposited funds okay mm -hmm. so let's say a, a customer has given a check payment okay okay mm -hmm. so a check might take a couple of days to reflect yeah yes so uh so basically there is an option that we have we are uh like entering a payment entry in the books of account so mm -hmm. the customer balance can be like it can be uh, fully like we can accept the payment from the customer but instead yeah. of showing into the account mm -hmm. we can show into the undeposited funds okay mm -hmm. okay and uh, once we will 
save it in the undeposited funds. So how we can afterwards uh, deposit the same into the bank account. Okay. So my entry is undeposited funds to account receivable. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we will go to the transactions, mm -hmm. bank, and make deposits. Make deposits. Okay. okay. So earlier, the entry which we have entered, uh, okay, is the, so, so for receiving the customer, we have entered the customer, accept customer payment. Okay. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. now now we are entering the make deposit entry. So bank make deposit. Make deposit, okay. So uh, automatically all the entries. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no need to select any customer here. So okay. let's say there are thousand entries lying in the undeposited funds. So yeah. all will come here. All will. Oh, okay. 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 So you just have to select and then transaction, transaction bank make deposit. Make deposits. Mm -hmm. Select this and save. Okay. then all of the undeposited funds here can show up, right? That's what yes. You're yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now we will go back to the invoice which we have entered. Create invoices list. Mm -hmm. Now, under the relative report, mm -hmm. uh, you can see there is a transaction deposit application. Yeah. But we haven't entered any deposit application. So how it has come from where it came. Okay. So you remember we have entered a, a advanced payment, customer deposit. Yes, $500. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So... So basically, there are features in the next slide, like both in the case of pay, advanced payment to the vendors, or either mm -hmm. we receive the advance from our customers. So yeah. once we once we once the invoice is created or the mm -hmm. vendor bill is entered into the next slide, it yeah. automatically gets applied. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, it automatically gets applied and. Uh, and linked with the invoice okay okay yeah but but there has to be a sales order or purchase order if there is no link it it, it won't apply oh i see okay, okay. Yeah. for example like i i create a standalone invoice okay i go yeah. to a transaction mm -hmm. and i i will create a sorry sales i will create a cre invoice Create an invoice, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and separately, I will enter a, a advance uh, payment from the customer also. So, customer, okay. how this, uh, yeah, so how the system will recognize that this invoice is related to that advance payment? Okay. Mm -hmm. Because there is no link. The sales order right. is our link. Right, right. Yeah. So, in, so, in that case, we have to manually apply that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, we'll, we'll take a one example of that also. So we will go to the customer. First, I will deposit a record customer deposit. Okay. Mm -hmm. My customer name is Chitrocket.
So you can see there is an option of sales order. So we are not mapping the sales order. Right, right. Uh, we will just save that. Mm -hmm. Now we will go back and create an invoice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me say item zero one two fifty. Save. Now the status is open, okay? Yeah. And mm -hmm. we have the customer deposit here. So right. yeah. So we have to enter a deposit application. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. There yeah, because there's no relation Yeah, there is another transaction which is deposit application. But okay. deposit application you you want you uh, you will uh, like we will not find with any navigation. Okay. We oh, have okay. to open the we have to open the customer deposit only mm -hmm. and click on the apply button. Oh, I see. I see. Once we will click on the apply button, we will get the deposit application. Oh, okay. 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 But if like any other transaction you will find with the navigation also, but mm -hmm. there is no navigation for this. No, for the deposit application. Yes. Okay. You have mm -hmm. to open that deposit only. Okay. Okay, so yeah, automatically we are uh once we click on the deposit the apply, apply button, we will get the invoices. Mm -hmm. Okay. Against which we want to apply. We'll yeah. click on to this apply button and then we will save. Okay. okay. Now if I change my refresh my screen, yeah, it is shown as paid in full. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. So this is the other way to apply the payment to the customer, right? If there is no sales order. Yes. Uh, if there is no sales order and we have received the advance. Oh, we have received the advance. Okay. Yeah. Yes. If right. there is no advance, then we will simply, if there is no advance, then we will simply create a invoice, then mm -hmm. accept the payment. Okay. 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 So, so uh, once like if if there is no advance, then and to normally receive the payment against any invoice, we will mm -hmm. enter the sales. Sorry, we will enter the customer and mm -hmm. accept customer payment. Okay, okay. Before okay. that, I will en enter the accept customer payment. After my selecting my customer, all the pending invoices, due invoices, will appear here. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is something like NetSuite has each uh, type of transaction for different processes. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Like, uh, for advance, there is going to be a different transaction for receiving the payment. Uh, mm. There is going to be a different transaction. Okay. So, yeah. it, 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 it mainly depends on the type of uh, like uh, and accounting entry you want to create. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. Okay. 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 Let's say I I I I am receiving the advance payment from the customer, mm -hmm. but I don't want to show into the my uh liability side. Okay. I mm -hmm. just want to directly show into the my customer account. So okay. I can enter that customer payment also. In that case, 
uh, see, I, I will select the customer. Yeah. Okay, now there is no mm -hmm. invoices. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. I can enter an amount mm -hmm. and save it. System will allow to save. Okay. But there are no invoices. So what, what will happen? The payment will receive without mm -hmm. applying to any invoice. And once there is a invoice in the future, then mm -hmm. we have to manually adjust. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, so then you just accept the payment on the in the system and then, yeah, so, so yeah, so once we we will like enter the payment, okay, so my mm -hmm. GL impact will be the uh, like bank to customer, okay, right, bank to right. customer. yeah, yeah, bank to trade receiver, but mm -hmm. in the uh, rec record customer deposit case. It was mm -hmm. bank to customer deposit. Right, 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 right. right. So oh. basically, that entry will not impact. Uh, that customer deposit entry is not going mm -hmm. to be uh, like uh, shown in any customer ledger or neither in the customer statement. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I see. Okay. Because the, because there is no trade receivable GL is tagged. Yeah, there is no, it will not show in the account receivable, you mean? Yes, then we have to enter the customer payment. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so basically the and the type of transaction depends on the actual uh, processes used in any organization, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or also like the end result of the accounting entry. Right, right, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, okay. So that each organization may have their own policies with respect to that, right? Like, so, um, you know, how to apply payments. So they may already be having a process for that, right? Yeah. Uh, see, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm from the main, uh, like, core accounting background only. So mm -hmm. uh, basically what happened is... Uh, I receive an advance from my customer, okay? Yeah. Until mm -hmm. I deliver the services, that amount yes. is a liability to me. Correct, correct. Yes. Correct. Yes. So, ideally, it will come into the other, other current liability, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is yeah. our customer deposit GL, okay? Right. Okay. If, if, I, if I open the chart of account, So, as you can see, customer deposit is coming under the other current liability. Oh, other current liability. Okay, okay. Right. I see. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Same way, when we advance, when we give up, uh, uh, like, advance payment to our vendor, that mm -hmm. will come under a other current asset. Other current asset, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so the standard accounting principle is to have that advances in shown under the balance balance sheet in the current liability account. In the current liability account. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we will check some reports now mm -hmm. for the. So that so work. that so what we just now did is the order to cash. Is this process order yes. to cash? Yes, it's order to cash. Order to cash, okay. Okay. So we will check some reports. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so customer receivers. Uh, okay. 
so there are different uh, reports available under the customer receivables like mm -hmm. customer by sales rep customer by territory customer profitability mm -hmm. uh, but as of now like we will get the data either in the ar register so there is no aging as mm -hmm. there is no due yeah so we we'll, so we will check the ar register and we will also check the uh, ar payment history by invoice mm -hmm. so let me select the subsidiary we can now scroll here this is my ar register the transaction related to this yeah yeah so the invoice uh, yeah the two invoices then. yeah so it's showing the deposit application also right yeah but, but not not deposit hmm. deposit not shown here yeah, yeah, deposit is not shown. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. So, let, let's take an example. I haven't entered a deposit application yet. Okay. Hmm. My, hmm. my, I have only two invoices. One is this 1307 and one is 250. Okay. Hmm. And there is no deposit application entry and no payment entry. Mm -hmm. But I do have the thousand mm, like uh, dollar in the deposits. So, mm -hmm. so it, it, it so this AI register is not showing the actual picture. Mm, right, okay. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Because it, it is show, it is showing me that I have to receive this one uh, five five seven from the customer, but customer has paid thousand in advance. So it is not showing there. So, sure. so that is something you can say a limitation of, your, of the net suite that mm. the only the uh, uh, transactions which are mapped to the account receivable GL mm -hmm. will come here. Okay. Basically the account receivable type of GL. Ah, okay. Okay, okay will come here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. That's right. So AR register is there, then we will see the this AR payment history by invoice. So under this transaction, uh, mm -hmm. under sorry, in, in this report, we will get the by invo invoice by history. Oh, by invoice and okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, this is the invoice number. This was the invoice, then the credit memo is raised. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is uh, invoice like we have entered this invoice so invoice is there then yeah. deposit application is there then payment is there payment is there yeah okay. okay and same report we can see uh under the customer receivers ar mm -hmm. payment is by payment also mm -hmm. so here we will get according to the payment transaction Either okay. is deposit application or is payment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We can check some other reports also under the sales. So sales by customer, sales by item, uh, open invoices we can see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like sales by I item. Yeah. Uh, so my we can our scout here so if if a like management want to see okay what mm -hmm. is my subscription services sale so we can sell okay uh is like they say any support services provided by the company so my mm -hmm. sale from the support services so we can have like we can view the sales on the lobby size oh, okay okay so, okay like Item summary, sales by item summary. So yeah. That's a we description of the Yeah. Like a company deals in 
five alloys, five uh, type of services. So we can create an item for each type of service, For each like item. subscription, service support, license mm -hmm. fee, and we can okay. view how much it is like on the monthly basis. Right. What are the revenue uh, revenue for each line of business? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Uh, you know, I saw another one that sales tax US. Um, so if you scroll down on this one on the reports, uh, okay. there is uh, yeah, some yeah. yeah sales tax US. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, like, there is some report available mm -hmm. on this sales tax US. Okay. Uh, we can see this sales tax on sales or sales mm -hmm. tax by tax item. So okay. we'll click on this. I don't know why either we I will get any transaction here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because we haven't taken any sale tax on our transaction. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But once we have, we can we can check the same into this report. Okay. 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 Yeah. 